a tip, by the way, before you play with new balls. Hello and welcome everybody! Today we are in Voorhout in Oosthout with Jeroen. Today we're going to find out which bull paddle racket gives the most control. Is that going to be the hack control or the Vertex 03 control? We're going to find out doing the smash test, the dejada test and testing it a little bit uh, more as well and then find out which gives the most control. Hmm. They both have a low balance, so that means is that you can play with the most control possible. If the balance is high, you will play faster. If the balance is low, you will have more control because the weight is more in the bottom of the racket. Bullpadel says that this is a level professional racket and that it's made for people that like to play with control and precision. But is that true? Hmm. We're going to find out. Bumble bumble. This racket, the head control, has three carbon technology, and that means is that they have multiple layers of carbon into the racket, and they say it's slightly lighter, and that because of the three carbon you play slightly faster but is that true i don't know let's find out this technology is only available for two of the bull paddle rackets jeroen what are your first impressions on the racket uh, from the back well, the first impression is that uh, the vertex is a bit softer feel. Yeah. Uh, you have to be hit it a little bit harder with the hack to get the ball going. Yeah. Um, so my, my first impression is that I prefer Vertex so far. Okay. I have the same. Uh, I feel like with the hack I, I didn't have uh, I, I had control but not a lot a lot of power. And uh, with this racket I have more power but I had to hit it in the center. If I didn't hit it in the center uh it didn't went well so and for the heck it doesn't really matter the, the balls are a little bit more the same so every ball i hit is with control for my feeling but it uh, you don't have a lot of power so this is something you should get i think for now uh, if you really like control and maybe if you already have power you think so i, is, yeah? I, I is agree i is agree okay well let's do some follies and some bandejas New balls, please! A tip, by the way, before you play with new balls, play them against the ground to get the hairs out. Otherwise the ball drops down after you hit the glass. Are you okay? Oh, brilliant! What makes the bull paddle rackets unique is that you can change the weight on the top. So you can uh, decide if you want to have more weight. Uh, both rackets are uh, 365 and 375 grams. So you can upgrade the weight. The machine it's for my personal preference this is quite hard it's uh, it's quite hard that's uh, yeah I have a lot of power with the racket to be honest let's uh, change Yeah, I, 
I feel like this one, more control with the one they have. Less power, more slice. The grip on the racket is basic, the Hesa core grip. So if you're going to play with this racket, you get the Hesa core for free. Or is that in the price? I don't know. But um, it's all it's always with the Hesa core grip. Jeroen said that the, this Hazer core grip is slightly softer than um, the Hazer core grip that you have normally. So it's a bit, little bit different. So if you like to have it softer, then get the racket. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's personal preference. But uh, in Jeroen's experience, it was slightly softer than when he purchased the Hazer core himself. Correct. 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 Pas mal. We played a few follies, and for the follies, I really prefer the pink one. I feel like I have more control, and it goes a little bit more. I have a little bit more slice, and this one is quite uh, hard uh, for me. So I could kill the ball. I could uh, uh, for the winners. I think this one, and for building up the point, uh, I prefer the, the pink one. So maybe you have to bring two rackets and then switch just before during you the point. Yeah, yeah, so hold on, hold on, and then bandeja, bandeja, bandeja. Yes, this is the <laughs> one, and then you change record and you you kill, kill the point. Uh, and you had it differently. Yeah, personally, if if for the more aggressive volley style, the hack is, is suitable for me. Okay. And if you're a little bit more on the defensive volley, it will be verte. Okay. So it's, uh, okay. Great. So the, uh, we, I think we're going more or less that this has more power. And yeah. this has more control. Yeah. So now we're going to do the smash test. Vamos, so Vamos. with what racket? So I think this one, what do you think? This one will play faster. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Vamos. With the pink one is more slice, and this is more power, I think. I think that's a bit, because now we played with new balls again from the back, and this goes e very easily, so it's like boom, and the ball goes. And with that one, if you play off the back wall and the ball's high, from, and then the ball rotates a lot. So I think if you want to play with slice, that's uh, the, the pink one is your racket. If you want to play with power, that's this one. 
the best racket for your smash? What do you think? Heck. 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 The best racket for control? Vertex. Vertex? Me too. I think so as well. Best racket for your bandeja? Heck. Vertex for me. My final thing is that if you want to play with control and more slice, you should play with the vertex. And if you want to have more power with hack, <laughs> if you want to have more power, you should pick the hack. That's what I think. I agree with you. Okay. I hope we helped you to find your right racket. And um, if you have any questions about the racket, please let me know below. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you like to see more racket reviews, please like the video and vote in which one is your favorite one, the hack or the vertex. Let me know in the comments below. And um, that's everything. Thank you very much for watching. Hasta luego. Ciao. Adios.